stuff that glows in the dark is just way cooler than stuff that doesn't glow in the dark, and I think that we can all agree on that. So, in this video, Plaid was kind enough to send me a bunch of glow-in-the-dark and blacklight glow-in-the-dark paint, which I'm going to use to show you how to use this paint for cosplay. There are a ton of super cool things you can do with this paint, and I'm excited to show you how to do it. So, let's go! And because I'm a YouTuber, I'm legally obliged, not really, that was a joke, to tell you to subscribe to my channel so that I can... Well, I don't have a reason, but if I did have a reason, you'd say, oh, that's a good reason, and you would subscribe. Canto. Okay, so let's get started. First off, I'm going to be using these two neon black light glow in the dark paints. First off, when you start using them, they look like they're super desaturated and they don't have a lot of great coverage, but they actually do glow super well under a black light. And the more layers that you add, the brighter that the glow will be when you expose it under a black light. So do as many layers as you think that you need. What I'm doing here is just using the black light paint to do a couple of small details. This is a great way to make the details of your cosplay stand out. You can do raised details or just paint on details onto the flat foam, whichever you prefer. And as you can see, it looks super cool under a black light. The next paint that I'm going to be showing an example of is the Plaid FX Nitro Glow, which charges in the sunlight until it glows in the dark. For this one, I'm going to be painting a piece of detailed foam, just solid glow in the dark, which can be a great way if you want to use this color in your builds, but then make it look just a little bit cooler when the lights are off. Like before, the more layers that you do, the more pronounced the glow will be. I'm also making sure to cover all the edges just so the glow is even throughout. And here's the finished result, glowing in the dark. As you can see, my camera is pretty terrible at picking up glow in the dark stuff or just filming in the dark period, but I promise that it looks way better in real life. Fortunately, my phone picks up this neon black light paint a lot better, which is why I'm glad that Plaid sent me so much of it. So another way that you can use this glow in the dark paint is to make it look like very specific parts of your build are emitting an inner glow. For this, I have some foam that I cut some cracks into, and then I use the neon black light paint to fill in these cracks, adding very faint lines around the outside of it to make it look like that the cracks themselves are glowing. And as you can see, the result under black light looks amazing. I still can't get over how vibrant and cool this looks. For this next example of how to use glow-in-the-dark paint for your cosplays, I'm going back to just regular glow-in-the-dark, and I'm going to be using this lighter yellow one, and I'm going to be painting onto my skin. This paint is non-toxic, so you don't need to worry about it, and plus, when you're painting, you get paint all over your hands anyway. This is just a more deliberate way to do it. Using a thin paintbrush, I draw on lots of lines and many layers so that it glows more brightly when it's dark. I made it look like a skeleton hand, and you can't see it super well again on my camera, but in real life it looks super cool. Adding glow-in-the-dark paint in small amounts on your skin is a great way to get some cool effects for cosplay. And then you can just wash it off with warm water and soap afterwards. So with that, let's move on to the fifth and final example of how to use glow-in-the-dark paint for your cosplays. For this one, I have a piece of detailed foam painted solidly black, and I'm using this bright green glow-in-the-dark paint to add splatters and splotches all over the foam, making it look like some sort of toxic chemical or something on the foam. And it glows super well in the dark as well. Again, you can't see it super well on my fairly terrible camera, but I promise that in real life this paint looks amazing. And there you have it! five different ways to use glow-in-the-dark paint for cosplay. Hopefully you found this video helpful and it gave you some great ideas for how to paint your next cosplays and props. Thank you again to Plaid for providing the paint that I used for this video along with some brushes. Thank you so much for that and thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.